how's feeling, see? Mom. I mean, don't you people actually think that this house is empty? No, tell me what will make a young couple's house empty. As in how? How is this house empty, Mom? One thing she definitely can give you, children. I mean, look at her. Look at her. Do you know Nonso? Nonso has three kids now. Three kids. And he's two years your younger one. Yet you're here. Sulking and frolicking with someone that definitely can give you a child. Enough, mom. Enough. Prove it. Are you talking back at me? When did you start throwing tap jobs at me because of her? Nice one, Nessa. Nice one. Do you know my son never did that until he met you? But you know what? I see you, Jojo. I know exactly what you're doing. But one thing I want to tell you and assure you is that if you don't give me what I want, we will definitely get it somewhere else. Stop. Stop. See, if you're not man enough to do your job, then I will help you to do that. Listen. Are you happy now, Mom? Are you? What are you saying? I mean, can't you even see it? Oh, do you want me to die until I see my grandchild? Mom, it's obvious that you are desperate for a grandchild. You want a grandchild so much. But that doesn't give you the right to insult and victimize my wife in her own house. She's my wife. My wife, Mom. And we have a family together. She's not complete wife until she gives me a grandchild. Mom, you are so desperate for a grandchild. And if you're that desperate, then go and rent yourself a child. A grandchild. Or buy one and give life to it. Mom, please, I beg you in Christ's name, leave my wife alone. But I can promise you one thing. That woman is not leaving this house for nothing. You know what? Promise she has dropped you. She has trust you. I know it because you definitely do everything she wishes. But you know what? It's over my dead body. Until I do what I want to do in this house, she will not have peace in this house. Mom, you are obviously tired. Maybe you should go upstairs and sleep. Keep your food. I'm in love 
It's got to be that feeling. Like it? Yes, it's perfect. Thank you. I love you. Why am I weak in the me? Now I'm working for me. And I want you to know that everything is gonna be okay. Baby, I lose my cool. Oh yeah. In due time. Smile in my direction. My heart beat does like one ninety two big beer. The same that I'm feeling. It must be love. The feeling is something special. It cannot be anything but love. Sound of your voice melts my heart like a candle. See what you've done to me. Oh, baby, you broke all my defenses. Never knew I could love somebody like this. loving you, like I'm losing all of my senses. You drive me crazy. The thing that I'm feeling, it must be love. The feeling is something special. It cannot be anything but love. This feeling that Medication if we say love, cause I know they feel myself. And I need an explanation why I only feel this way when I'm around you. I cannot love another person like this. No way. This is a once in a lifetime love. I'm in love. It's got to be that feeling they call love. So in love. It's got to be that feeling they call love. I've been a malaria, no, I'm in love. so sweaty why am i weak in the knee now i'm working funny every time i'm close to you baby i lose my cool oh yeah when you smile in my direction my heart beat does like 192 big the thing that i'm feeling it must be love the feeling is something special it cannot be anything but love Sound of your voice melts my heart like a candle. See what you do to me. Oh, you're ready for work. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going late. Okay. Hurry up, oh. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Are you still going to um? House today. Definitely. I have already told Abigail to meet me up. Oh, Abigail. That's true. Um, I won't see her in a while. She'll come over to the house. Mm, she's fine. Just hanging in there. Oh, my regards to her. <laughs> sure. Mm, um, I need any help. <laughs> I'm uh, hey. so sorry. Can I help you? I never felt this kind of love before. Yeah, yeah. I know go lie, I know go lie to you. 
Girl, I'm trying to reach your soul before I take the dress off. You don't have to try to impress me. You can leave the makeup. I owe all this weight gain to you for well, feeding me. <laughs> I married you. I was a slim, sexy young man. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at me. <laughs> it's your fault. Since you have decided that I shouldn't work in your words, a wife is supposed to stay at home and take care of the family. So <laughs> this is me taking care of you. Enjoy mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, um, I want to discuss something with you. Okay, let's do it. So, um, mom is coming over. It's just for some few days. You know I don't have any issues with your mom coming here and staying as long as she wants, right? I know. You can't act like you don't know the reason she's coming. Well, just relax, okay? It's just for some few days. She's not staying here for long. It's happening, right? No, nothing. That one thing that you promised to protect me from, it's finally happening. My God. Nothing is happening. I promise. Okay? You know your mom. Let's not make an issue out of this, okay? So, I'm the one making an issue out of this? No, I don't mean it that way. You can't fight to keep me when your mom is on the other side of an imaginary battle with me. There's no battle. She's my mom. And besides, you know that she thinks she's a daughter. You're right. That was a long time ago when she thought I was going to give her a grandchild. Sorry, Ma, he's still at the office, but he will be on his way back home soon. That's it. Just. Will you please take your phone? Sorry, Ma. Excuse me. You tell her she knows how to do sit and watch. Lazy. For water? Answer me, did I beg you for water? Did you even wash your hands? Did you sanitize your hand? Oh, look at it. So you want to kill me? See, I know you don't like me. And I don't like you too. And that's fair. Don't stand in front of me when I'm talking to you. Go to the back! Sorry, Mom. You should have cooked meals, right? <laughs> I know you are very lazy. Very, very, very lazy. I know you don't cook. All you do is, I mean, order food and put it in the fridge. But for your information, I don't eat fridge meals. 
I want freshly made meals. The meals that you will make from there. But I know you can do that. How can you do that when you don't even have a child? So how can you know how to prepare a freshly made meal every day? Do you know what? I will take anything you have because I want to live long to see my grandchild. So get out of my sight. Why are you still lazing around? I said freshly made meals. Go ahead and do it. Hey, babe. Hello. What's going on? Your mom is here. Oh, my God. I don't wonder she was calling me nonstop when I was in the meeting. How's it going down there? How do you think? I can't imagine. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm on my way soon, okay? If anything happens, it's on me. Okay? Babe? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. the food? Yeah. She made it. I know. But it would have been nice if there are children to eat it with us. Doesn't this house feel empty? Mom. I mean, don't you people actually think that this house is empty? No, tell me what will make a young couple's house empty. As in how? How is this house empty, Mom? One thing she definitely can give you, children. I mean, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Do you know Nonso? Nonso has three kids now. Three kids. And he's two years younger one. Yet you're here. Sulking and frolicking with someone that definitely can give you a child. Enough, Mom. Enough. Brumi, are you talking back at me? When did you start throwing tap shots at me because of her? Nice one, Nessa. Nice one. Do you know my son never did that until he met you? But you know what? I see you, Jacob. I know exactly what you do. But one thing I want to tell you and assure you is that if you don't give me what I want, we will definitely get it somewhere else. Stop. Stop. See, if you're not man enough to do your job, then I will help you to do that. Listen. Are you happy now, Mom? Are you? What are you saying? I mean, can't you even see it? Oh, do you want me to die until I see my grandchild? Mom, it's obvious that you are desperate for a grandchild. You want a grandchild so much. But that doesn't give you the right to insult and victimize my wife in her own house. She's my wife. My wife, Mom. And we have a family together. She's not complete wife until she gives me a grandchild. Mom, you are so desperate for a grandchild. And if you're that desperate, then go and rent yourself a child. A grandchild. Or buy one and give life to it. Mom, please, I beg you in Christ's name, leave my wife alone. But I can promise you one thing. That woman is not leaving this house for nothing. You know what? Prome, she has dropped you. She has trashed you. I know it because you definitely do everything she wishes. But you know what? It's over my dead body. Until I do what I want to do in this house, she will not have peace in this house. Mom, you are obviously tired. Maybe you should go upstairs and sleep. Keep your food. Mm -hmm.
I'm sorry for everything that I put on Dina. For what she said. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm sorry. Someone from the village to take over, right? Babe, can you stop already? Stop what? You know that's what she will do next. Look, I understand how you feel, but I can't stress this enough. Everything is going to be fine, okay? Okay, fine. But don't say I didn't give you anything. Babe, can we move on from this already? We have done this test twice this month, madam. I know, doctor. I just want to be sure it can work. We've had this conversation before. And I told you there is nothing wrong with you or your husband. But the IVF. We have done that once this month. And it is not advisable we do it again. Doctor, please. I want it done, no matter the cost. There has to be at least a four weeks interval from the next IVF cycle. That is it, madam. This is not about what is going to cost financially or not. Oh, God. I don't understand. Mom. <laughs> oh, 
I brought you a complete woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what is, what is this? <laughs> well, you have two options. It's either you take her or I cease to be your mother. Mom, with all due respect, please take this thing back to where I got her from, okay? This is my home and I will not accept this in my house. Please, respect it. Brume, I gave birth to you. And you will definitely give birth to someone. I need a grandchild. And come to think of it, you gave me an open check that if I want to get a grandchild, I should go anywhere to get it. And this is the final one. Mom, I told you. I don't care what you told me. I don't care what you told me. This is the final thing. She's going to stay. You know what? Let's go. Excuse me. Babe, no, 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 don't say a word. It's fine. I'm sorry, I didn't, I, I I didn't know about it's this. It's fine, okay? I don't want to be the reason you're picking a fight with your mom. And if that lady is staying here, we'll bring peace to this house then. So be it. She can stay. Babe, isn't that too risky? For who? I trust you. It's okay. Come and clean this room up. Oh. <clears throat> Monica, yes, make sure that you make him sleep with you. All the upper mixture that I give you, make sure that you take them. The only reason I brought you here is for you to give me a grandchild. The moment you give back, that thing up there won't have any choice but to leave this house. Do you understand? Okay, Mom. I, I'll make sure. I know what to do. <laughs> Trust me now. Trust me, what I'm thinking. Good morning, baby. Good morning, son. Mom, I need to tell this thing to leave my house and leave as soon as possible. She's not leaving. If she leaves here, then you cease to be my son. Stupid lady, baby. <laughs> yeah, man, see <laughs> Hold up. Okay. Are you ready to go out? Mm-hmm. Angela is waiting for me, Monday. Yeah. Anyways, while you're out having fun with your friends, don't forget to check your husband out. <laughs> this is true, okay? And I don't miss me too much. Sure. <laughs> I'll try. Try not to stay so long, okay? But I'm not promising anything. It's alright. Have fun. Bye. Don't get drunk, oh. Uh ah, -uh, you know I don't drink. <laughs> yeah, I don't want anybody to dance with you. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> if I don't, then I lose. Oh, yeah. I forgot my destination. I'm heading in the wrong direction. I'm lost, but please, nobody should find me.
Good health. Thank you. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I've been waiting for you. I've served dinner already. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I guess it's just stressful, huh? Let's hurry up, okay? Thank you yeah. for waiting. I'm coming. all you. You had sex with me and you loved it. What? Imagine what all that would do to Nisa when she finds out. Don't you dare me in this house. I'll send everything to her. I'll be in my room in case you want more. Is it? Nothing. That was your mom, right? No. Um, no. Not, not, not my mom. Then what is wrong? You've been, you've been stressed out since you came back from work. Yeah. I'm just stressed out because I came back from work. You haven't said anything about the food. It's perfect. Okay. saying that you have no idea how this thing happened. Wouldn't I know if I did? Wait, well, I don't think it's possible for you not to know if you had sex with a lady. You think? Dude. Except you were drugged. Oh, God. Nessa cannot know about this. She must not know about this. What do we do? Let me see the messages. Wait. She just texted. What's she saying? You have her. She filmed you guys. But why? Which one be but why? What is wrong with this girl? What does she want? She wants to take over my home. I, look, I, I promised Nessa this wasn't going to happen. I promised Nessa this wasn't going to happen. Oh, I know. She just let her be. You think I'll take that chance? Okay. Calm down. Okay, let's assume that none of this is a fluke, yeah? And you let her take charge, and she decides to still do what she has threatened to do. Nessa and I have been through a lot together. There's no way I'm going to let this affect my marriage. Not even a chance. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
the problem? Nothing. Okay, watching the movie. Yeah, right. But you haven't said a word since we started the movie. Because we're supposed to be watching the movie, not talking. Really? Give me your phone. Why? Just give it to me. Babe. That's funny. It's not funny. Stop laughing. Well, nothing is going on, as you can see. Because you're not telling me anything. Babe? You didn't tell me we were going to see a movie tonight. I'm sorry. You can join us, I mean. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Get off me, are you insane? What is this? It's like this, huh? Mm. What? I see. I warned you. I warned you about this girl. I told you that she would keep asking for more. So what are you going to do? What would you have me do? Come on, bro. You know you're breaking your wife by doing this. So what should I do? Come on, guy. You're the Lagos boy. Why do you act up like this? Bro, this is about my marriage here. What happens when she finally sends the kid to Nessa? Then let, 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 let her do that. What are you saying? Bro, at least we know she has it. I should allow her to send the kid to my wife just so that I know she has the kid. Bro, I man, my, 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 my marriage is destroyed. Bro, man, you said the other time that you had no idea how this thing happened. So? Look, my wife is going through a lot already. Okay? No, I can't. 
you are the one putting your wife through so much already. By acting as if you're in love with this Monica girl. So what should I do? Go to my wife and tell her that, hey, baby, I'm sorry, but Monica and I had sex. She has a clip of the sex that we had, but I didn't know when it happened. Are you listening to yourself? No, are you being serious right now? I can't do it. You, you can't do what? I can't do that to Nessa. Oh, it's fine. So uh, I have a date with uh, Susan. I'll believe you. Suit yourself. Baman. Baman. Can I have some more? To get me on that one. Should I go and do it myself? from my husband. Uh, Brumaya and I were at the bar together this evening. Okay, I've been calling him, but he hasn't been answering. Oh, wow. Anyone can stay out to sleep, but not Brume. I don't even know what to do, I don't know what to do anymore. I just, I'm so worried. Uh, maybe I should try calling him. Okay, please. He said, he said, don't worry. Thank you. Okay, no other. Where have you been? I've been calling you. Fine. You, you drunk? Oh. What happened to you? Say something. Something? You've been out all night and this is all you could say to me? I just want to sleep. Okay?
should be asking you. I don't. <laughs> Just um, get in the shower, okay? We'll talk when you're done. Oh my god. So you have your own door. The heat's up in there. I'm sorry about what happened last night. So you remember? Are you ready to come clean now? Come clean about what? Please don't. Don't do that, okay? I'm not stupid. Oh. So this has been your plan, right? You planned this all along. You wanted her here. My plan? You knew that her being here is against my will. Do I know that? Do we all know that for sure? Because the way you're so cozy about this lady, you don't expect me to believe that you didn't plan this from the onset. Nessa, no, I didn't. N Nessa, Nessa. Showed it to me, okay? Nessa cannot find out about this. If Nessa has about it, she would never believe me, okay? So, what do you want to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look, I cannot lose Nessa to this bastard. Why not confront her? And have her tell the whole story her way. And I wish she gets what she wants. Nessa will leave. No, I can't. Oh, shit. I guess I did not have to do that. What is that? Bro, are you, are you there? Bro, man. I want you to know 
that I love you so. I just wanna make this love in mercy. I just want to know if you are worthy. I give you all my soul. If you give me your word, tell me what that you're never soul? gonna hurt me. Show me that you are Let's talk in my office. <laughs> Show me that you always gonna want me Some parts of his brain was badly affected during the accident. Oh my god. Was he supposed to visit Paris at some parts of his life? Yes, doctor. But that was 10 years ago. And it was an official assignment. What happened, doctor? Doctor, please talk to us. I see. That was the last word he kept mentioning before I finally put him to sleep. I don't understand. I'm afraid he suffers amnesia. Some part of his life is gone. It might be difficult for him to remember everything. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do now? Hope he's not going to die. No! no. You see, when he wakes up, we are going to carry out some more tests okay. so that we can be able to determine the extent of the damage. Okay. Doctor, I hope it's not bad. For now, what I will advise is that let's not force him to remember anything because that will be so dangerous and good. Okay, so, so what do we do? If you love him, I mean, you all want him to be well. Please, allow him to recover on his own. Like I said before, don't force him to remember anything. I think I like that idea. Forcing him to remember anything will be so dangerous, like I said. I mean, it might even make him to lose everything. What's this scenario? He might go into coma. Okay. Yes. Or forbid. Or even the vegetative state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I see him? Sure, you can. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh my god. You <clears throat> should not force him. He's finally awake. Roman. Roman. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're, you're finally awake. Oh, God. How is this? If nobody wakes up. Let me advise you, if you love him, don't push him, allow him to recover 
remember everything on his own. You know, things might get out of hand so fast that we can't even control. Please, I know this is a very hard call for you to make, but please, make the right call. I know this is difficult for you, but if you really love him, give him time. Don't push him. Hmm? Thank you. <sighs> Mom, I, I know you don't want me around, so I know I should leave. But remember what the doctor said. My husband is fond of me and staying around could help with his memory. Even if you don't want me to be his wife anymore, I could just stay to help with this healing. Please. Ili. Ili. You. Evil. Ili. Since you came here, it has been evil. See, even fate played a good role. Can you imagine? I've been trying to drive you away, see? But no, fate played a good role, and I'm so happy. So you know what? Pack your things and go. Pack your things and leave this house. I never want to see you near my son again. Please, what? <laughs> Monica, bring those things. You think you're safe to have me? Get out of this house. Wait, wait, you wait, wait, wait. wait. You're my husband, right? Wait, you barring prostitute. Take, 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 take! Anything that has to do with you. Get hey, Papa Kiss. I can leave! <laughs> leave! Leave! <laughs> Kata. You. You call. Recover me. Just pack your things and go. She can't, sir. She can't. Baron. For how many oh, years? Yes. How do you know? Hey, take it outside. You don't need to give it to her. Carry it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> go look at the outside. Then come and get me a room. Come and sweep the evil spirit. Sweep it. Oh, look at it. There's this small small evil. Sweep it out. Monica, bring the broom and sweep it out. Go. Go. Let's 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 go. Go, 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 go! Go, go. Mm. Mm. Hi, baby. How you doing? How are you feeling? Any headache? Are you okay? Do you need anything? Let me get you something. But have you had your drugs? Hope you're good, okay? Um, you know what? Let me get you something, okay? about your foot. Okay. I'm fine. You need it, okay? Good boy. John, you'll be fine, okay?
Well, do you, do you know who you were right here? Uh, no. And you can't recall left to this street? Mostly speaking, I can't. Oh, by the way, I'm hungry. Do you know anywhere we can eat around? Yeah, yeah uh, there's a spot down the road. A friend of mine took me there. They have beautiful food. You know, you like, I know you like sports, you know. <laughs> Do I? Good sport, food sport, and the beach. Another mm -hmm. beautiful sport you love. You know, you told me how calm and soothing the environment is to you, so mm -hmm. I think it's something you'd like to go check out. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. We should try it sometime. It's my mood. So, uh... So, let's hit the road. Slow it. This is a very nice place. Yeah, I thought you would love it. This and this. Same thing with you? Yeah, that's. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Serene atmosphere, yeah? Yeah. likes the food here so well he shouldn't come here you know he's beginning to like you again he's not supposed to i told you his mom doesn't want me anywhere around him at all he he's your husband i know that and i understand what you're trying to do here i do 
But remember what the doctor said. You're not supposed to push him. Yeah, you're right. But you see, one thing I needed to know is that you must stand up and take back your place. Huh? So you might be that little piece that needs to put all the pieces together. Yeah, think about it. He loves you, you know that. Thank you. Why has he got me? Minutes, I haven't seen her. There's no sight of her at all. I don't know. I have to leave. All right. Hey. Hey. It's everything okay? Yeah. Have we met before? Yes. No. I mean, of course, here. No, I, I mean, have we actually met somewhere else before now? I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I have to. I'm... Yes, ma'am. Mm -mm. Have you tried calling him? Many times, ma'am. And he's still not answering? At all. Hey! Oh, Genebrume will not kill me. This isn't the first time, ma'am. I'm beginning to notice some certain changes sometime now. All is lost in thought. Changes? How do you mean? I think he's beginning to remember some things. He doesn't feel comfortable around me. He doesn't even hold me. No, I'm scared. No, 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 no. Don't start, please, eh? See, I will come visiting in two days. 
and I will definitely talk to him. I will see things for myself. Meanwhile, any news yet? Have you taken him yet? You know, I keep having flashback about that waiter lady. But every time I remember her, I just... My head takes me back to the, the food court. You... Well, wait, what do you think, actually? You think you've met her before? I don't know. Ah, uh, I just... Okay. I can't um, recall anything. Boomer, Boomer, say, listen. This is what you're going to do, okay? You just have to sit and think deep, you know, reflect. You might be able to put these pieces together and then you get a picture of who she is. You know? Uh, just some deep thoughts. Nothing. Come on. Blank. I say relax. Think deep. Come in, it's open. Hey, Mama. Mm. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, it's my son. Bumay. Mm. You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah. It's just that I, I've been having flashes in my head lately. You know, and all these things, they seem so real. It's just that I can't comprehend them. I don't know if it's from a dream that I can't remember, or if it's images from my past life. But whenever I have these things, I have a serious headache. Have you seen the doctor yet? No, not yet. I don't think it's that serious. But I mean, if it persists, I would, I would seek medical attention. Okay, are you sure about that? Yeah. How was your journey? Beautiful. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. Come to think of it, where's your wife? I've not seen her around at least. She stepped out. Okay. Have you got something to eat? I'm okay. You sure? Mm hmm. Then. Let me stay with my son and wash. <laughs> you want to freshen up or something? I will, but climb that staircase. Ah, please, can't I just play with you? <laughs> Sitting in this bus, we're riding, riding. I don't even know where we're going. Don't know. As long as you hear, girl, oh, girl. love me, alright. Yeah, as long as I'm by you, yeah. I'll be okay. okay. I know it's crazy, but I'll take a chance. If I don't, then I lose. Oh, yeah. I forgot my destination. I'm heading in the wrong direction. I'm lost, but please, nobody should find nobody me. Nobody should find me. I can feel a strong connection. I know she gives me palpitation. I've got to get to the end of this journey. It don't matter. I can't find my way back. I'm going your way. I don't care how long the road goes. I'm going your way. It don't matter if we're right until it is dark. I'm going your way. I will ride with you, baby. I'm going your way. Now I'm sitting right here. Oh, I don't even have words to say. Just thinking how you're beautiful. And I want to see you every day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The moment your mother realized that you could not recognize me anymore, she and Monica 
threw me out of the house with nothing but my box. I slept in the streets for so many nights because I didn't want to be a burden to anyone. But when it became unsafe and unbearable, I had to call Angela. And I told her everything. She was the one who took me in and was there for me through it all. It was a horror. My husband not recognizing me and my mother-in-law throwing me out of the place I call home. And because I didn't have any work experience, I I couldn't get a decent job. I knew I had to work. So I, I took a job at the restaurant so I could support Angela with some of the bills at home. That's exactly what happened. Oh, God. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never knew all this happened to you. God. I knew my mother was this wicked, desperate and heartless to do things to this extent. God. I promise. I'll fix this, okay? I will fix this. You need to come here. No. Yeah, you need to come. It is your home. Yes, Baby is crying. Oh. Hey. It's okay. Oh my God. <laughs> need to be made junior. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of this. Okay? Now you go upstairs, pack your things and get out of my house. No, she's not going anywhere. Excuse me. I'm not going to treat myself again. Go upstairs. Pack your things. Get out of my house! I can't believe it was you all along. You put your selfish interest over my recovery, mom. You didn't care if I would live or die. If I died, would it have mattered to you at all? I don't care about your sorry. I don't need your apologies. Look at this innocent soul here. Did you care about her? Did you care what she was doing or where she was? The only thing that she has ever done was to love me, your son, and love you too. But yet the only crime you claim she committed was not giving you that one thing. That one thing you so desperately wanted, a grandchild. Something that is not in our power. Not even in your own power, but in the power of God. But you didn't care what happened to her or where she was. How wicked can you be, mom? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nessa, please. Roland told me everything that happened. Do you know that evil witch that you brought into my home? Into my peaceful home? Drugged me and raped me. Mom, she raped your son in my house. And she blackmailed me at every single instant that she had. 
stressing me till I almost lost my life, till I had an accident. Not yet. You didn't care if she stayed in the house. You wanted her to stay in the house over a woman that took care of me. How evil can you be, mom? How? Let me ask you a question. That thing that you so much wanted, did you have it? Did you get it? Do you? Answer me! Do you have it? You chased my wife out of her home. <laughs> sorry, please. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I have something to say. Three weeks after I left this house, I fell ill. I, I thought it was malaria at first. After a while, I waited for my period, but it never came. I became confused noticing the changes in my body so to be sure. I went to the hospital and the doctor confirmed that I was pregnant. It was almost like a dream, you know, waking up every day and someone growing inside of me, an angel, reading. Angela, you can come. After all those years of searching and wondering what was wrong with me, after all the prayers, God decided to wipe my tears and give you um, this body Angela. of joy. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> now I can go out and face the world with pride as a woman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know what? You know, the race is not to the swift. Neither is the battle to the strong. But look at it. Time and chance are up to them. Yes. I was quite wicked, but time proved a lot of things. Thank you. Ness, I want to say thank you. And what I cannot do, God showed that we can do. Indeed, I cannot give you a child, but look at it. <laughs> see, like that. I'm in love 
It's got to be that feeling they call love I've been a malaria No, I'm in love I'm in love Yeah Why are my hands so sweaty? Why am I weak in the knee? Now I'm walking funny Every time I'm close to you Baby, I lose my cool Oh yeah When you smile in my direction My heartbeat does like 192 BPM The thing that I'm feeling It must be love The feeling is something special It cannot be anything but love yeah. The feeling that I'm feeling It must be love 